Ladies and gentlemen, we are so back right now. So, as you guys may have seen within the last couple of days, Call of Duty Mobile dropped a brand new Lucky Draw series called the Zodiacs series. Now, this included a couple of weapons that we had already seen in the past, like the SVD, the XBR, but that brought in a couple of new weapons that personally I don't have. So, we got the Groza Aquarius, the Switchblade X9, which is what I'm really hoping to make today's video about, but obviously, whatever you guys see in the thumbnails, what we end up getting here first, as well as the RPD Fate judgment don't really care about the prize fighters i could live without it we have our chance up boost on the switchblade and for some reason i have a serious point discount of 1200 cp so we can do a 10 pull completely for free let's see what we pull here in this first 10 pull draw switchblade would be cool switchblade would be sick we're uh we're picking up actually like a stars I, I understand like the whole zodiac theme so a stars muscle car i'm actually cool with that kind of gives me like the season one og vibes if you guys remember the original legendary rank reward used to get uh the the star camo for the ak117 so that's kind of the whole theme that these are really hitting for me here we got a parachute a whole bunch of br stuff smrs we'll skip through that uh we'll pick up a legendary charm but that's of course not what we're going for and again, I, I have the ability to do another 10 pull for free. I've got to assume it's just because of these series points tokens or whatever that I've built up. So we'll just go ahead and do another 10 pull. No idea how many we're going to be able to do for free. There's no shot. Okay, so it looks like at least another set of uh, six. We're going to be getting a bunch of duplicates. We got another contact grenade and an annihilator. Uh, so yeah, 480 CP is going to be our third 10 pull, and that's going to be the first time we have to spend money here. Hopefully we can go the entire video with just spending the 400 CP. Picking up the snowboard, the calling card, and then again, a whole bunch of duplicates. We're going to be gaining more tokens, so if we had more of these, then we could continue with those free draws. But that progresses us 30 of the 75 required to get ourselves a guaranteed legendary as far as what this goes, this is the series collection thing. I was curious about this. We can claim some free tokens. So we can get some more draws for free. That's going to give us three more, uh, which will give us a discount of 840 here for our next 10 pool. Skip through that. That's the machine pistol. Dude, I feel like I just got baited. I don't know why there's no music for this, too. And I don't know why they keep doing these animations for random legendaries. That That's a big swing and a miss there. 1,080 CP. Can we pull a legendary here? dude we got nothing all right we're at 50 of the 75 before the guarantee we might have to actually go the full way and just purchase this all duplicates so far and then we get ourselves a thumper cool don't need that don't care about that there's a 50 gs as well just to throw in with the items we don't need so this is gonna be our last 10 pull before we start going with the singles this animation is just playing in my ears i can't stand the sound and we got the switchblade I feel like my audio is just chalked at this point. There it is, the Switchblade X9 Pisces. I didn't even realize it was called the Pisces. I'm actually a Pisces for those of you who care about astrology at all. I don't, but there it is, the Switchblade Pisces. And I'm pretty sure, oh my God, I was going to say it doesn't reset your count, but it does. So I guess I wasn't guaranteed necessarily the Switchblade. So it is very fortunate that we were able to pick that up. In the next video that we do, I definitely want to go for a chance up on the RPD and see if we can pull that. But for now, I'm hyped to get this weapon. This is what I was going for. Right, I'll go ahead and copy up all the attachments, and this is what we're going to be rocking here in today's game. We got the monolithic suppressor, MIP extended light barrel, OWC tactical laser, extended mag eight, and granulated grip tape. This isn't the greatest gunsmith. I'm just going to come out and say this. This is what I had originally used on the Switchblade when it first came out, and I just haven't really like messed around, tried out different uh, gunsmiths. Maybe we throw on a different type of stock. I, honestly, we're going to replace the laser with the skeleton stock just because now that I play FOV sync, I don't really have to worry about that hit flinch being too bad now. And we're going to hop into the testing range and check out this weapon here for the first time. This kind of reminds me of one of the RUS skins inside of the game. I wasn't really sure what to expect for the skin. Definitely interesting. Oh, it's got a lot of aim shake. Yo, hold up. Maybe we threw with the stock. I don't know. The mobility on this is going to be crazy, though, and that's kind of what I, I was feeling like playing today. It was like an aggressive mobility build with a switchblade, so I think we kind of keep on what we got. Anyway, as far as like what we're going to be starting off with, this is going to be our initial build, and I'm actually surprised to see that we've increased the ADS time. I thought it was pretty quick, but apparently not, so 
Uh, I would say this is like, uh, again, a pretty average build, nothing great, but we got the damage at range increase, the, the recoil is going to be reduced, and apparently somehow our mobility is worse, but still 100 mobility statistically here on the weapon, so it should be a fun time to run around with. Yeah, obviously I want to play this as aggressive as possible. I don't know if we just go straight into mid, though. If, if I had like a stim or something where I could run faster, maybe that would be the move. I mean, like, we don't rock lightweight, we don't rock stims or any of that, so I'll probably just be beat here. Oh, nobody actually came over here. I'm not hearing any footsteps there by either. So everybody must have just gone like barrels on the other team. Or they're still just sitting in spawn. Okay, hold up. Bro, I can hear everything. That is crazy. There goes two. Nobody in trailer. Yeah, I can't lie. The Atmos is wild. I don't think this guy saw me. Nice teammates. Got two here. Oh my god, I got sniped. Yeah, dude, the audio on this is actually crazy. I feel like I could sound so well if I wanted to. There's at least two more over here. Mm, this is going to actually be annoying because it's just TDM and I don't have the ability to really get at these guys in close distance the way I need to. I saw that guy obviously waiting for me. I'm going to wait for our heal off before we chow the second. Connect actually gives me the ability to do that. We'll push in. Oh, nobody's over there? Dude, what is this TDM game? Yeah, this is actually crazy. We push. He's going up the stairs. UAV. I know a lot of players on the other team have ghosts though, and they're just like not moving on the minimap. Damn. Dude, there's one below me. This guy's ghosted over here. Oh my god. Yeah, I can't I can't deal with that guy. They're gonna be spawning up right over here. Get one on the cross. There's the second. Changing mag. Might have a couple spawning over at the tunnel. Just one. Yeah, this, this build definitely fits my playstyle a bit better. I'm not hearing anything over here, so I got a feeling enemies spawned up back. Oh wait, I lied. I say like in the trailer area. Now they definitely had to have though. Gotta keep the AR in hand for this. Just in case there's a guy camping there. There's one in here. A little one tap cleanup. Hmm. Saw this guy twice. Sound like this guy was right next to me. Oh yeah, because yeah, there is one next to us. It's so quiet. There's a guy in this trailer. Let's see if he pushes out. He's in there. We got an advance. Yeah, pop that in the sky. Ooh, hold up. Oh, the pre-fire. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We do have a swarm. I, I don't know if I'm going to put that up. Just trying to pre-fire a little bit. See if this guy slides in. He's just going fully around. Let's wait for this guy. Just sit in barrels. Slide out. Oh my god, almost almost died of the recoil. I was debating putting up the swarm. I think we might just keep keep it in the back pocket and see if we can maybe force a nuke out. I'm dead. Yeah, I don't know about that nuke now, buddy. I'm being chased by at least two. go down. Yo, I messed with this ASM though. Hold on now. When we're in the middle of the map. We got a nuke. Bro, that ASM feels good. I haven't done a video on the ASM in forever. Let's see if we get the nuke down. We popped it. I know there's one in front of me. I could end the game if I could have kill him, but we'll just lay here for a little bit. Ah, not able to get the nuke down, but a TDM nuke? Hold up. Hold up. We kind of cooked because we, we died a couple of times before we went on that streak. Yeah, that was that was good. Turned up at the end. All right, game number three here. We finally have ourselves a good SMG map, and we're playing hard points. So I'm going to be honest with all you guys. I didn't even realize until after that second match that I only had Dom, TDM, and Frontline selected for our three game modes that we can play, which are just really weird ones for me, uh, or at least the, the Frontline choices. TDM, sometimes hit or miss for me. I'll uh, I'll play with it on, but has to be like a video that we were filming or something, because I just I can't think of a reason why I would have that on. Anyway... 
hard point here let's see what we can get going already on a 3-0 star and honestly, i'm not sure if spawns are gonna completely flip i really don't want to just continue to push head on pretty much for that exact reason there i was just killing a straight line so there is a chance that at some point enemies are just gonna catch on to the fact that i was still there just kind of mowing through everyone we're actually gonna rotate up top here since our team is basically all collapsing on the objective i'm hearing some footsteps below me we're gonna start approaching this way one and we really need to start worrying about getting these spawn points in the next objective at this point. Pick up another two. I just don't have an AR, so I can't really beam off of that heady. So I'm going to wait for my teammate to go, maybe like pull a distraction, and then we're going to push forward. Anybody close range? We do have our kinetic armor. We can push that. I got to stay. Oh my god, into the corner. Okay, we're good. There's one. Two. Enemies are still spawning out in front of us, actually. Nice. We're gonna hop in here. Ooh, there's multiple enemies over here. I gotta rotate around again. Spawns might actually get another flip here. We got a UAV to check it out. Yeah, I'm 90% sure this is a good opportunity for us to go ahead and start moving. Ghost player dead. Another one in front of us. From what I can hear, right? He's just like sitting in the corner. I'm sounding. There's two. We gotta slide back. Question is how many players are here gonna shell us? I think there's a player going like full on around gonna stay back here and try to listen yeah yeah there's multiple sets of footsteps here they're all pushing forward though okay hold on we're on a little bit of a flank we get at least two in the back there's still two more in front of me one's obviously shooting at me got those guys dead the other guy who was chasing me did you ever push forward they're all rotating mid got this uav everybody's behind us Except for that guy. Oh my god, caught timing almost got me. Alright, we got Swarm and an advance UAV to go up. Throw them both into the air now. I'm dead. Okay, we're luckily able to get prone. We'll just run out here with the melee, abuse that. How much ammo do we have? Plenty of shots. Uh, I said we just pop the neck armor and challenge head on. So one more on the staircase. And then back around over this way. Nobody up top. I'll push them for them the same spot. Oh, I have no ammo. I have seven shots. I was like, yeah, I basically need every bullet there. Grab that gun. Oh, I didn't pick it up. Okay, hold on. That's actually tragic. That could kill me. There we go. We got it in hand. Oh, I'm dead. This thing has like no mobility to it. Yeah, I'm dead. Yo, no way. We're actually out of it, dude. I have another advance. All those enemies are in front of me too. We'll put up the advance. And we're on the flank. Nobody's looking at us. Oh my god, we got the nuke. That could have been such a fumble. I don't know how I got out of that. I literally just abused the melee speed. I right, popped my kinetic. They're still up. They're both dead. There's two more. One's in the smoke. Where you at? Brother, I don't I don't know what this game is. We're warmed up. We're locked. We are locked right now. Three more in front of us. We're just going to keep using the growl here. It's the perfect down. position for it. And obviously, I have the nuke to call in as well. We'll go ahead and start typing the code for that bad boy. Wow. All right. Well, what a game to close out today's video on. I'm not even going to lie to you guys, too. I was in queue basically like hell for the last hour straight. I went like 20 minutes without a match and then two bot lobbies in a row. So all of that like leading up to this game for me is just super hype and the nuke's going to be the game ender there. So <laughs> we're so back, baby. We are so back, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, thank you all so much for watching today's video. Definitely let me know down in the comments section below what other legendaries you want to see me go for here in the series. As I said before, I definitely want to do a gameplay with the RPD. Honestly, we might just buy them all because the Groza is another weapon that I've been having a lot of fun using and I haven't seen this variant yet. So Hey, maybe like two and a half thousand likes or something, and we'll do another video where we pull one of these legendaries. Appreciate you guys all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.